Anthony Foster is a, an athlete, an older brother, and uh, very out of touch with his emotions. I think um, he, he doesn't understand how uh, Nate can be so unembarrassed of himself just because that's something that he's always experienced. Um, and so as he watches Nate step out and shine his light and be who he is, I think, you know, you see, see how inspired he is by that. But, um, but yes. Uh, yeah, there's more differences than similarities. I mean, I am not an athlete. Um, I I would like to think I'm a little bit more in touch with my emotions. Um, but, you know, in similarity, you know, I do have a, a little sibling and uh, I do understand that sort of the dynamic of like uh, you're like I can pick on you, but no one else can kind of thing. Like you're very protective, but you're also like still the older brother. So I relate to him in that way. But, um, but yeah, I think we're, we're different in most ways. Yeah. I mean, Tim Federley is normally the executive producer on high school musical. And so he's sort of more the hands off type, or, you know, he'll give the note to the director to give to me or whatever. So to see him step into that, uh, position and, and really be the captain of the ship was, um, just so, so inspiring and beautiful to see. And he really stepped into his, his place and stepped up. And I think everyone respected him. And, um, you know, there were even crew members who were like, I've been doing this for 30 years and no director has ever known my name until now. And so in that way, he's just always so considerate and, and um, a, a beaming light to look up to. I think it was interesting working with Tim and working with a character that, uh, it could potentially be similar to Ricky on High School Musical. And so, you know, working through the nuances of like the differences in the character was interesting. Um, but I think honestly, the ch most challenging part of the film was that we were shooting in New York City and it's very loud. And a lot of times we'd be doing scenes and sirens are going by and we just have to hold, hold for sirens. I, if, if I have to hear hold for sirens one more time, I, I don't know what I'll do. But yeah, so I think filming in the city was both the best part and also the most challenging.